time to time to get started. Last video, I unboxed this whole thing. Now, now it's time to put it in the car. So this is the old mess. So we have it for just in case it needs to be referenced. But there's the tail section right here. Um, started collecting and bundling what wires with zip ties. Uh, here goes to the front headlights and horn. Um, this little section right here. This has things things that aren't going to be used. Like coil, um, brake switch. I, I I do need a brake switch, but it's not it's not gonna be it's not gonna be uh, used there. I'm gonna use it through on the other on on the harness. There's a so another thing that plugs into the brake switch uh, down by the pedal. Um, so now uh, I'm trying to figure out routing and. I think, I think the best thing is going to be to mount it on the driver's side kick panel. I, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Probably high, tucked up back there. So we will See, we need to do a test layout. You know what? Actually, I probably need to open this guy up because I might need to take and remove this wire because this is the fuel fuel pump wire. So, yeah. That means I'll have to remove some panels down there. Oh. Fun. All right. Let's ugh, toss that guy out there. And we're going to be putting the wire loom on the tail section. I think that's going to be our start. Because um, we're going to run. We're going to run the tail section. That's the heart. That's. I would say second hardest thing to do with this wire harness. We got to
to do maybe more. <sighs> I don't know. Or I might try to see if I lay out these wires as they are. <sighs> I might just take these wires and the fuse box kind of softly put it in a spot where it may go in the car and then that way I'll have an idea of where I want to mount everything all right so let's, let's say that goes right there control pad wiring Can I get that tangled up? Of course you did. There we go. And no wonder it stays tangled up. So go on over here. Let's see if we have enough wiring to kind of do roughly reach. Headlights, horn. So, got the headlight bundle here. Of course, there's nothing. So we've got tons of wiring on the left side, not so much on the right. So it might be a better strategy to put the fuse block, I suppose, toward the passenger side. I don't know, it might end up back in the middle, but I think, uh, I think this thing was made to be on the passenger side of the vehicle. So. I have crap everywhere. And the car needs to be moved over. Like a whole foot. So I got fit on over here. Anyways. Alright, let's get the let's get this kind of laid out a little bit a little bit cleaner. So we got right here, we got wiring that goes all the way to this front headlight. Plenty of slack so that you know we can wire up headlight, then we got for the next headlight, and then we have uh, alternator battery, which uh, I will also need to get the high output alternator kit installed. And then these guys uh, will go over ugh, there for coolant and oil. Jumping into the car. So in here, so obviously the tail section is going to run along with this uh, power cable. And then, oh, dropping down here, got my fuse block. It's wishful thinking, I guess, for it going on the driver's side. And it can't really go too far forward over here uh, without me going to need to extend wires to reach instrument cluster the uh, headlight switch and things behind the dash so it's, <laughs> it's i will i will figure out some sort of uh mount situation for it to go probably about right here we're not going to put it over the transmission tunnel like last time but it'll be it'll be like like so but probably tucked up a little higher these are obviously all the wires that go to the steering column instrument cluster um steering column instrument cluster radio wipers things like that uh and then i have the 
for control pad plug and the wires that need to also go that way for the instrument instrument cluster and the, the uh, ignition switch. <laughs> 